Hi guys, it's Simulsi here. So welcome to my debug tutorial, the one that I have been talking about for ages. And actually I have recorded this before. I've recorded about 20 or so minutes of me explaining everything. And then I unfortunately did not have my mic plugged in. And so I've been avoiding returning back to this tutorial because anytime you have to redo a voiceover, at least for me, and I've definitely heard some other people talk about this as well, you kind of forget exactly what you mentioned and then you might repeat yourself in the same video and it just becomes kind of difficult. And it's been about a month now, so I'm going to try it again. Hopefully this goes well and hopefully I mention everything that I want to. But anyways, as you can see here on screen, I have a lot of objects that some of you guys have probably seen before, especially if you've unlocked certain things through gameplay or if you go into the debug menu yourself. But in case you don't know how to access the debug menu, all you have to do is open the cheat bar. So that is control shift C and that'll open up this bar here at the top of the screen that you guys can see. And what you wanna do is type in bb.showhiddenobjects and then you hit enter and then you can close the cheat bar again by hitting control shift C and then to be able to see everything cause I mean, you'll be able to see a few things like if we go in here to decorations and then go to the miscellaneous category, you will be able to see there's lots of like different um, rocks and crystals and like fish and metals and different things that you would unlock through gameplay. And of course here you'll see like pumpkins and then in the plants you can see the ones from Strangerville and you'll see various things like in the statues, there's a few different things, but you know, it's a bit limited. There's only so many things that you can actually see in the catalog once you turn the cheat on. But if you wanna find more, go here to the search bar and type in debug and hit enter and then it took a little bit <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in the debug menu and my computer's been running really slow so forgive me if anything is a bit delayed or looks weird on camera i'm gonna figure out what's wrong i am going to be upgrading my cpu i just need to put it in my computer my husband's out of town for work and i'm gonna wait for him to come home <laughs> because i am not computer savvy and i can't be trusted to do it by myself so i'm gonna wait for him but anyways so now you can see there are a ton of items there's this remote control which is super cool there's like bottles and various things i'm not going to show you guys the live edit objects in this video but to access the live edit objects which will show you a ton more stuff here in this all you have to do is open the cheat bar again and type in bb.show live edit objects and then you'll get a lot more options like plants and cars and boats and like a ton of like really cool things that you might like see throughout the world and stuff and yeah, they're really cool and I still have a lot to find in there and I've probably honestly missed things in the regular debug menu <laughs> that I have here placed in these rooms, but I did find a few things that I wanted to show to you guys and I will put all of these rooms up on the gallery so you can download them for yourselves. The only room that I'm not going to be placing in the gallery is this first one and that is because I have learned that some of these actually will not transfer through the gallery. So I believe it's everything that I don't have over here. So like the spatula, um, this, what do you call these? These eyedropper things. There's a word for it, but I can't remember it. And different things on this shelf. They're really cool clutter items and you can put them in your build and they will stay there in your own save, but they just don't transfer through the gallery or through, I think even the, um, the library. <laughs> It doesn't transfer through your library or the gallery, um, but you can use it in your build and it'll stay there if you save your game and come back into it. I've had them on the slot forever and I've had a Sim move into the slot, move out of it, they stay here. But um, yeah, they just don't transfer through the gallery so I will not be sharing it, but I will share this one because these all transfer through the gallery and these are all things that do not spoil. I think there was an update that maybe added like a few more things that don't spoil in the catalog. I forget exactly what they are. I'm going to find out and maybe um, update another room at some point to the gallery. But for now, this is what I'm going to upload. So we have some coffee cups here. These are the ones from Get Together. They will not spoil in your game. The only thing that you want to watch out for is if they're perfectly snapped to a surface, like if they're snapped like 
that and a sim can access it then they will probably try to clean it up when you tell them to clean up but if you use move objects and you have it placed like freely on the grid like this if you hold down alt this is how you do it i did do a tutorial about move objects so if you guys want to see that i will link it in the description but um yeah if you have it snapped to a surface then they can grab it really easily and then clean it up but if you have it off the grid then they can't they can't grab it and it'll be able to stay as decoration in your build, which is super cool, which I really like. And then there's some measuring cups and pitchers and like all of these really cool things that make really nice decorations for builds. These right here, I thought that they could appear as cups. They are, I believe, like cups of paint or something, I believe, I don't know. There's some like red measuring lines on the side, which is was a bit unfortunate. I would like them just to be like, glass cups or white cups or something but you know they work if you don't have any custom content for cups or anything like that but here's a few extra things down here there's some coffee bags some extra bottles of wine here's a box of rodent food and bird feed but i thought they could look like cereal boxes and then we got a bottle of water another pitcher some spices and like salt and pepper shaker just really cool things that are really nice kitchen clutter items oh and these so you guys have probably heard me talk about this before, but the wine glasses all spoil. Like I would love to use the wine glasses as decoration. They look so good. I've used them before. And then within like a couple of hours, there's like all these stinky green lines coming off of them. And it's, it's so frustrating. They may have updated them now. I'm not sure if they are or not, but anyways, these glasses, these ones came with vampires. So if you have the vampires game pack, you can place these glasses. They're a bit fancier looking than regular wine glasses, but they don't spoil and they look really good. And I don't think I really use them in too many builds, like maybe one or two. And I need to like, I need to use them more because they are very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, I will definitely have this room on the gallery. I really like these little things as decoration, but they are full of cream or milk, but you know, it doesn't bother me. And also these plates too. Oh, something I wanted to mention about these plates and bowls. These ones do not spoil at all and you can stack them. I stacked them using the red shelf, which I will show you over here in a second. You can also use a regular shelf if you don't have the red shelf, but if you want to find these in your game, let me scroll through the debug menu so I can show you guys where they are because I always forget get about where they are exactly um, here they are okay so if you're in the debug menu and you have all of the packs this is what it's going to look like it's this so you can't search it by bowl <laughs> it's only called debug and the description is food same with the plate and it costs zero simoleons but they don't spoil you can use them as decoration so you can find them in here amongst the city living stuff if you do have city living after that i think the the uh kids room stuff comes and before it is dine out so in this area this these are what they look like i'll zoom in on the screen so you guys can see them really clearly but you can use these as clutter items in your kitchens and they won't spoil as long as they're off the grid then your sim won't be able to clean them up too so remember that but over here i did want to show you how to stack them up so i have these bowls right here and so they don't stack automatically they just snap to the surface but if you wanted to you could use the red shelf to um to place them so i'm going to show you the red shelf first so let's say we wanted to have this bowl here and we wanted this bowl to be on top of it all you'd want to do is click on the red shelf because i have the move objects on so you'll definitely want move objects on and then hold the red shelf ever so slightly and then hold the alt key just to make it a little bit raised into the other bowl and then holding the alt key again you'll just drag it into place <laughs> you can also move the red shelf if it starts snapping to it but if you hold the alt key and just place it like that you can snap it you can get a little bit more precise i don't know why my camera is jumping Maybe that'll help, but um, yeah, so that's how it looks and that's how it works. I think it looks pretty good and I really, yeah, I really like it a lot, but moving the red shelf out of the way, if you wanted to do the same thing with a regular shelf, let's just show you with these plates, I would just put it right here and then I would drag the shelf through the wall and that's about stacked on top of it. So take it off of the grid, holding the alt key and then just place it over top of it. Uh, it's not very centered. I'll try again. 
that's a little bit better and then delete the one that you dragged it around with so it's a bit of a tedious process but I really like the option of having stacked plates and bowls without downloading custom content I mean downloading custom content is definitely a great option so if you don't really mind that and you yeah if you don't mind downloading custom content there's way more options way more easier things way better looking things too like i would definitely recommend the kitchen set by harry and felixander they have some really beautiful like plates and cups and oh like wine glasses and all the really beautiful things so if custom content is your thing i definitely recommend downloading that but if you're not into it at all this is a great alternative and this red shelf is very very handy it's called the omsp shelf i have it linked in the description of every single one of my videos i am planning on doing a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial on it at some point i know some other people have done it as well so if you have um, not seen any tutorials i definitely recommend that you guys search for them i'm not sure everybody that has done a tutorial on it i know miss griffey has so you can definitely check that out if you are interested in knowing more information on how to use the OMSP shelf but it's a handy tool I definitely recommend it for anybody and it doesn't doesn't count as CC in your build unless you do actually turn it clear because there is a clear option if you want to leave it in your build but I just use it to place objects and then I don't leave it in my build before uploading it to the gallery so yeah it's just a bit of a handy tool and it makes things like this very easy <laughs> but you can use a regular shelf the reason i don't normally use a regular shelf to place items is because this has a lot more slot points and you can place objects on it that normally wouldn't snap to shelves so it just gives you a little bit more freedom but over here you can see that i just made a few rooms of some extra things that you can find in the debug menu like we have all of the arts and crafts from seasons we have them from parenthood like these sticky notes oh and something really cool about these sticky notes that i like to do if you have a refrigerator you don't actually need um to have the refrigerator away from a wall because if you try to place something like one of these on the refrigerator and you're close to a wall it's going to snap to it but if you're further away from a wall or if you delete the surrounding walls then you can place them on the refrigerator but the sticky notes don't actually snap to a wall so you can just freely drag them if you hold the alt key and then the nine key to raise them up and you can put them on the refrigerator to look like a little magnet or something like it's a grocery shopping list like how adorable is that i'm obsessed you guys have probably seen me do that in a number of builds but yeah so i'll have the parenthood things up on the gallery the other things from seasons like some of these cards and some other cards just a few things that i found in there i'm sure there's like other things that i'm missing from various packs that would be cool to use as decorations but these are things that i'm constantly like wanting to search for and sometimes i'm just too lazy to search for them so having them in a room makes it a bit bit more convenient and then over here this is going to be like my garage room <laughs> um so i'm really excited about these items there are like logs and pieces of wood some horseshoes and things that i've definitely used before in a ton of bills but i just kind of forget about them because they're lost in the debug menu so i wanted to kind of put this room together to have them all on display so you could see either pop this in a garage and it looks like you know just some shelves full of clutter items or you could pull different pieces off of it and stuff and use it in your builds but yeah some really good things in here some hammers a hand trowel different like just really cool items <laughs> that i think would be perfect to decorate your garage with and yeah i really like it and a lot of these items i just never use because again they're just buried in the debug menu so that'll be on the gallery as well and then same with these items I went through and this is just more of like the miscellaneous stuff there's some headphones the remote some game controllers a cassette tape like what it says our very own mixtape how do you get this in game why is this in the debug menu i've never seen a sim hand somebody a mixtape before but it's so cute and here's some like uh mail so we got some bills and some pictures and different baggies of things a piece of paper some money um a paintbrush and then you know just stacks of cards there's also individual cards and i think i was having trouble with the individual cards clipping through the floor but you can find the individual cards in the debug menu too so if you want to use those as clutter and then some various like art supplies and some blocks and a little open book and a little package here which is super cute i definitely use this quite a bit in builds the same with the remote and the headphones and the mail um some of these 
I think I use quite a bit too, like the glue and the crayons when I'm decorating like family homes or apartments, but things like the protractor, I just kind of forget about. But yeah, I'm sure there are things in the debug menu that I am missing because it's extensive. Like I do have all of the packs and going through the debug menu, there's just, there's so many things that, <laughs> so I might've missed things, but there's things that I would like to use that just unfortunately spoil. So they go bad really quickly or they just disappear. Like I think there's a shoe somewhere in here. Oh, did I? Oh yeah, I had the plunger over here. I was like, did I not place the plunger? Um, but there's a shoe somewhere in here and I always want to add it into build. Did I have it? Okay, I do have this. <laughs> now I'm like second guessing myself. I'm like, did I forget things? But I don't think I did. But um, yeah, there's a shoe somewhere in here. And I was like, when I found it like forever ago, oh, like this matchbook, look, at, see if you go to place it, it just disappears. And I think the banana peel too. I don't know why, oh, it's so disappointing. <laughs> Cause oh, especially the shoe though, I'm gonna find the shoe. Oh, there's a glove. So the glove disappears. I think this wallet disappears as well. And then here's the shoe. Like I love this shoe and I would love to be able to put it by the front door. Even though it's only the left foot, I would just put two left feet next to each other and pretend that it's, you know, a complete set of shoes. But I don't know why it's here. Like, do you guys know at what point in get to work you need the shoe? Like when does this come into play? maybe in the detective career, like is it a clue or something? I'm not sure, but like wouldn't this be a great piece of clutter? You gotta place it, bam, disappears. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, this is my miscellaneous stuff that I came up with. Like I said, this menu is very long. I didn't place all of the books in a room, but that is another thing that is really nice clutter to use. I especially like, um, I think it's this last book. This is a good one and like the cookbook and stuff. They're really expensive though. This is like 2,500 simoleons for a cookbook. I don't know who decided that. And like this one, again, 2,500, but there's some really nice books that depending on different personalities, it's nice to put them as clutter around a build. And I believe if they are placed off the grid as well, then your sim won't actually be able to grab them. Oh, what is this one with the hot dog on the cover? That's super cute. I haven't looked at the ones from university yet those look really nice but yeah we've actually gotten a lot of new things since i created these rooms from like realm of magic and stuff so there might be some more stuff in here like the wands um which might need to be put in a room but i have made a room before with all of the brooms so that's on my gallery if you guys are interested but yeah there's tons of stuff in here and oh like the seashell oh, i should put the seashell in here it's miscellaneous right i don't know it doesn't really match anything does it match bathroom stuff I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I should put it, but I want to have it somewhere. Um, I'll find a spot for it. I'll just leave it out here on the floor. But yeah, there's been, I'm sure there's things that I've missed is my point anyways. But over here is a little room full of bathroom clutter. So we have some hairspray, which is really cool. So it actually, it actually says that it's hairspray, which is really, really nice. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so it's really nice bathroom clutter. Here's some different like bottles that I think are supposed to be pet shampoo baby what does this say it is it is it's gel so yeah oh it is for dogs <laughs> but we can pretend that it's sim shampoo here's a toothbrush and then some makeup there's a blow dryer some diapers um and a baby bottle these aren't really necessarily bathroom things but you know it kind of goes along with the theme here's some medicine some makeup a plunger i put this um yoga magazine in here because i I thought that you could probably have that in a bathroom or just anywhere. And then some different other clutter items. Something to think about these other makeup pieces though. If you are using move objects and you wanna place them, let's say on a counter surface, and I think it's, I think it's this brush. So it snaps to a lot of different surfaces, so you may not have any issues, but if you want to have it off the grid and not snap to a surface. So let's say you wanted to place it holding the alt key. It just drops to the ground. I don't know why it does that, but there's a few things that do that. And I think I mostly notice it with the makeup pieces. I think maybe this chapstick as well. Yeah, it just, it just drops to the ground. I don't, I don't know why. Normally, like if you were to grab an object and hold the alt key, it would stay at the level that you place it. Like let's say, this 
magazine, for instance, if I place it on the surface, click on it, hold the alt key and drag it off, it stays at the same level as whatever surface it snaps to. So there's just a few things that don't abide by that rule and it's a little bit annoying, but since it does snap to so many surfaces, it shouldn't cause any problems. So yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. I feel like I said a lot more in my previous video that I made that <laughs> never recorded any volume, um, which was very unfortunate, but these are the rooms that I came up with. Like I said, oh, I got rid of my seashell. Didn't I place it down? Either way, <laughs> I thought I placed it down. Maybe I didn't. Um, anyways, though, I feel like I did say more in the previous one, but like I said, I did not record any volume and I don't write myself any notes or scripts or anything. I kind of just go with the flow and whatever comes out, comes out. So hopefully I didn't miss anything important. I think I said everything that I really wanted to say. And basically I just wanted to show you guys how to find the debug menu a few objects that I like in there and then show you that these rooms are going to be available on the on the gallery. And yeah, I do have a move objects tutorial if you want a tutorial on how to place things a little bit more easily using, you know, off the off the grid and using move objects. Um, I will have that linked in the description. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial on the OMSP shelf, this red shelf back here, please uh, let me know. And I will definitely be happy to record that for you guys. But anyways, I think this is about it. All of these will be on the gallery. I will have them linked in the description so you can download them there. Like I said, the only one that won't be is this first one because these objects will disappear, but you can find all of them in the debug menu like really easily. Like I think if you search debug, they're one of the first things to come up, at least these wooden spoons, if I remember correctly. And like, like the fork and spoon, they're so cute. I think the only one that doesn't disappear is the knife. But yeah, like here is this baster. That's the word for it. The basters right here, the wooden spoons, they are all base game. And like, even if you only have the base game and you filter by base game, let's say, and then search debug again, um, there's tons of items. Like here's this knife. Like I said, you can, you can place these in your bills. They'll stay there forever. It's just once they transfer through the gallery or, th or through your library, they just will disappear. This uh, meat mallet and there's, yeah, there's tons of things. There's like fruits and stuff, which I think do disappear through the gallery too, or maybe even in your builds. I'm not sure. They're a bit, some of the fruits and vegetables are a bit touchy, but like here's the mail and here's a pen. There's tons of good stuff, even if you only have the base game. So even if you go to download these rooms and like these ones and you're like, oh, it says that there's, you know, like get together and you don't have get together. A lot of these things are actually base games. So I wouldn't really worry about it. I just made more condensed rooms to, you know, make it less things to download and make it a little bit easier. But I still tried to keep the rooms relatively small. That way, if you're building and you only have like a confined space, you can easily plop the room down and it won't like delete anything. Or if you only have like a tiny little bit of yard space, you could plop it down. For instance, I should probably actually give an example. I thought the video was over, but I guess it's not. But let's say you're building a house over here and maybe the lot is, let's say the lot is only like, uh, let's just fence it in and say you only have like this much space <laughs> left on the lot. I don't know if this is a very good example, but I believe that's like two squares. So let's say the house is this big and you have no room. You've all already fully decorated the build, but you want to download this one from the gallery and place it in your in your build, you can just place it outside of the house. It doesn't copy like that very well, but I promise you it'll work. Let's see if you go over to styled rooms actually, and you have it over here. Like I just recently shared these hanging coffee cups using the tool mod, which is another tutorial that I want to share with you guys. You could just place it out here. So for some reason, when you go to copy rooms, the clutter doesn't copy with them. I don't know why, maybe because they're, placed using move objects mostly, but if you, but if you place them through here, they'll place just fine. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. I also have this trash can. If you guys want me to upload this to the gallery too, I just recently made this room because I always want to use it and I find it hard to find, but it's one of those objects in the live edit objects menu. And yeah, like I said, I do have all of the brooms. Oh, here's a room. 
yeah, so if I want to place it here, see all of the objects copy this way, but not if you copy the room. It's, it's a bit interesting, <laughs> um, but as you can see, it was the room that I created before, so those objects all disappeared. But anyways, this room is on the gallery if you guys want it. I did rotate the cups using the tool mod. Like I said, I do want to do a tutorial on that, but that was just a, kind of an example. I'm not sure if that was that helpful, but I just wanted to show you guys if you're building something and you don't really know where to place a room that you want just for clutter, I would just place it in the yard somewhere and that's why I made most of them pretty small. That way you could easily fit them in a pretty small space. So yeah, that's what I was thinking and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, I hope I said everything that I needed to that was helpful to you guys. And if you do have any more questions about the debug menu, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to go through as many of them as I possibly can and answer them. If you know any answers yourself, feel free to answer people's questions because that would help me out um, quite a bit since yeah, I just it's kind of hard to reply to everybody, but I will definitely try my best to answer your guys' questions. And hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you guys do like these rooms. I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of them because I've been holding off on using them and sharing them to the gallery until I did this tutorial, which is a bit delayed. So I'm sorry about that because I know I've talked about it a lot. But anyways, so I was just actually making the thumbnail for this video and I found out something very interesting. So I'm just gonna throw this in somewhere at the end of the video. It probably won't make sense, but what I'm about to show you guys I think is really like really cool <laughs> and so I'm just gonna move this stuff over here out of the way and use this wall to show you guys what I'm talking about so I was just placing some of these uh, little post-it notes that we have from Parenthood and I was trying to place them on the wall around a shelf and I was trying to place it above a shelf but look at this it snaps underneath of the shelf so you could actually take these post-it notes okay so it doesn't look like all of them clip so nicely I mean you could make it a little bit bigger <gasps> interesting okay I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna just leave that one alone oh I sized it up and it left it that same size there it goes <laughs> and so it looks like it works best with these ones I mean it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I haven't really played around with it. I'm sure you can make it look a little bit cuter than this, but I like the idea of them hanging for something or from something. So you could probably actually just size this down and move them as a set or try to make this look like if we maybe got another shelf and sized it down and placed it next to it maybe I mean it doesn't really look like they're hanging from it oh I mean it kind of does if you look at it from the right angle um you know it's not perfect but I kind of like the idea I wonder if I grab a smaller one now what it'll look like actually it's so it's super cute um I actually really like it so you could have like a whole little note thing this I think is a good idea I mean, you can see since I sized them down, it doesn't really look like they're hanging from it. Maybe like different shelves will look better. I don't know, <laughs> but I thought that was really cool. Anyways, back to the end of the video. Yeah, I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.